Good morning ladies and gentlemen, vlog number 310. Welcome back to the office. Today is going to be a video production day and I'm going to work on Rob's channel and stuff like that. But thank you so much for checking out our new food channel which is called Choice with the Boys. If you haven't already checked it out, it's in the description below or you can click up here. Basically I spent the whole of last night fixing things for the channel and really just getting it to a stage where it's presentable for the first video. I guess my least favorite thing is promoting a channel where we only have one video to show for it because I've seen so many people who have like one video on their brand new YouTube channel which is gonna be producing content every day or every week or every month or whatever and then they never follow through because can't be bothered or video is not their thing or I don't know, it's YouTube's too hard, not getting popular fast enough. I'm sure our channel doesn't look like that, but we're gonna make a lot of episodes starting next week. Next week we wanna do two episodes. One is gonna be at Mon, Taste of Japan, which is a really, really good restaurant. But I'm really excited. I really wanna pump out as many episodes on this food show as possible to really push us as like a serious channel. Speaking of serious channels, I was gonna do Rob's channel trailer today. We're gonna see if we can make him a nice channel trailer that's gonna be like really hard hitting get people to subscribe to him and all that kind of stuff. And then after that, I'm gonna film a video for the studio and it's gonna be about this, their wave wraps. A lot of you guys, if you've been watching the studio, have been asking me to make a wave wrap part two and review the whole series and I keep forgetting about it. <laughs> keep forgetting to do it, so I'm gonna do it today. But first, Rob. Primary cuts are done. I'm gonna add some extra text and some music and the stuff like that, but that just check this out. Look at this. Some things that I need to be working on. Rhythm, articulation, smooth rolls. Okay, instead <laughs> of worrying about... <laughs> smooth rolls. Whenever you make any YouTube video that has a lot of talking in it, right, the last thing someone wants to see is just the person standing there going blah, 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 blah. So you gotta keep shifting their focus back and forth and back and forth. And Rob's got just basically a video of him talking like this. Well, nice thumbnail. He's talking like this the entire time, right? And if he was to just be like that all the time and talk and talk and talk for two minutes, no one would be interested. If we keep pulling his focus back and forth and moving him around over and over again across the video, and I'm gonna add text and stuff here, then people will be more inclined to listen and pay attention and they'll be more captivated by what he's saying. Well, at least I hope so anyway. <laughs> Rob is definitely one of the people that I respect very highly. He knows a lot of stuff and all we have to do is just get that stuff to the viewers, so. I'm gonna take a brief humji bang break. Really, really hungry, so do that quickly and then back to the videos. Come along with me. And stop. I've been doing Rob's trailer for quite a long time now, but it's starting to look really, really promising. Um, so I was 16 when I took my first audition for the Ann Arbor Symphony in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I had no idea how to practice. I basically just like ran all the excerpts from beginning to end over and over for hours in the practice room. I got to the audition and like Mozart's magic flute. I just crashed and burned. I stopped playing <laughs> in the middle. Obviously I didn't get the job. I'd get rejected from six summer festival auditions every single year. I'd wait in the spring for the audition emails to come in. They all just said, we're very sorry. We're sorry to inform you. I <laughs> So fed up. We're sorry to inform you are a potato. I don't know what he's gonna say about that, but I think it's pretty good for the shock value. But yeah, I've been looking at Rob's face for so many hours now, and I can only look at someone's face for so many hours. No offense, Rob. I'm gonna go and get some Nando's or something with Ebony, because they have $10 meals Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in Perth, which is nice. I'm gonna leave all of this camera and video stuff behind. So I just. I need a break, man. And then when we come back, we can start filming the video for the wave wraps. Let me text this. Henry doesn't like this. No, it's the same. No, I like this one. It's a little bit dry on the side, though. Welcome back to the studio. Yeah, I really like leaving the LEDs on. <laughs> Random colors. 
I think it adds a bit more dynamism to the room. But basically I'm back to film the studio video as I said I would do, except I came back a bit too late. It's already 10 past 11, so we gotta be quick. Probably only have about one, two hours max to film this. But yeah, we had Pepper Lunch for dinner and Little Marcha Girl again. It was pretty busy at Little Marcha Girl, but I'm glad we got to have that. But now I got to film. Oh. Good thing is I left most of the stuff set up already, so this shouldn't take a long time, but we gotta hurry up. Finally, we turn these to Studio Purple. Bam! Bam! Nice. Might as well get these ones as well. Bam! Bam! Nice. All right, studio is pretty much set up and ready to go. I just need to practice what I'm gonna play for the sound test. And then we'll start recording. Yeah! And here we have it. The 450 US dollars worth of mallets. The Lamborghinis of mallets. Wave, wave wraps. These are the most expensive mallets in the world, pretty much. Yeah, we gotta play something decent. Just as I start recording, microphone's out of battery. Oh man, it's getting late. I really need to start recording, like, right now. Where's the battery? Fortunately, I have a spare for whenever this happens. Yeah. Put his clothes back on. <laughs> Cool. I actually really love this mic, the Rode Video Mic Pro. It is so good. It lasts for ages. One battery lasts for, what is it, 70, 80 hours or something ridiculous like that. And yeah, it's just a really good microphone. <laughs> right, let's shoot. See that? We have audio. Yes, it's alive. What I love about this camera is that it tells you what's in focus. You see those green dots? I don't know if you can see them. You see that green dot there where the nodes are? That tells you that's in focus. Focus peaking is the greatest feature ever. The theme that I play for this video is called Try to Remember, and it's from the Fantastics. Try to remember the kind of September. Which was a musical that I watched in New York City when I was there last year, and it was one of the best things I'd ever seen. That, that song really resonated with me. Anyway, next thing we have to do is product shots. So we have to lift this big old fat thing over somewhere else. How do I make these mallets look good? All right, set number two is us putting the mallets on the marimba for product shots. It's a bit dark here because I can't be bothered moving these lights because I'm running out of time. But essentially, this is the kind of shot we're getting. I'll show you. Come on, go down just a little bit. Yeah, that's the shot we're getting right there with the nice fluid shot. We can make the foreground blurry or the background blurry, but we want the front in focus like that. Probably the title's gonna go here, or this will be the thumbnail or something. And yeah, just a simple mallet shot. Ooh. If you ever have a girlfriend who's a percussionist and you wanna get her a present for Valentine's Day, get her a bouquet of wave wraps. I love this shot where I put the mallets in front of the camera and then I lift them up slowly with the pan to reveal the lineup. Oh man, that looks so good. Basically to get that effect, I usually just put this in front of the camera and I pan the camera down and as it's coming down, I lift these away and it reveals that. And the result is that awesome looking jet engine line. All right, finally, we're up to the final task, which is the talking head part, which is where I say, you know, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the studio. And we're gonna do that right now, so I have to reshuffle everything that's on there. I have to move all of this back there and then put my chair over here. And finally, this is what it looks like when I film my talking head videos in the screen and I look at myself in the camera. And this is what it looks like when I'm sitting in the chair, about to say what I have to say off the top of my head. And these lights are really hot and it makes me look Super hot now. <laughs> so this is where I make up my lines. I don't like reading scripts. I always just make them up on the spot and I just hold the mallets up and I say things and it should work out. So I'll see you on the other side. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of The Studio. Got that bit down pat. <laughs> a few inches later. And that's a wrap. We've just finished shooting the last segment of the talking head part. 
I just did my good night. I did my thank you very much for watching. And this is the studio at the end of the day. 1,000 subscriber episode is coming up really soon because we're on like 950 or something. It's growing really, really fast. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a giveaway for that, which is exciting. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed seeing more of this behind the scenes stuff. I gotta pack all of this up now and it's like 1.20, so I should probably go home. Sorry, mum, if you're watching. <laughs> if you check that out our food channel, please check that out in the description below. Otherwise, I will see you next time for another episode of this. Wait, this is the vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Good night.